And good morning, everybody. How's everybody doing? Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, or whatever your religious belief are. I wish you the best. Uh, it's doing pretty good here. Got our cup of coffee. My name's Vega. This is Serpent X Special Forces. I have Crypto McKill joining me today. Uh, Savage in the live chat should be joining us, or should have been joining us. He's probably not dressed. Quit, quit working naked, Savage. Anyways, uh, you just need a T-shirt. <laughs> just from the top just, up. Just you, know, you don't, just don't stand up. I'm trying to find. Did you send him the link? I'm trying to find it apparently. Um, no. I'm not supposed to be messaging people, but I do. Yeah, I know you're. Ne it's like, are you really? Yeah, it's like. I, I got it's him. It's like the it's like the word. I already got it. All right. I was like, it's like the worst thing because I'm like, I have to talk to some people. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm not supposed to PM people, but I need to talk to people. <laughs> I don't know what to do, man. <laughs> well, Mikhail's uh, got a cheerful background uh, and holiday background. The for last. Him. This I, is the last time you'll see it. I just have a fireplace. It's that 4K fireplace, all right? That's it. But there I was you gonna go. Put on the, I was going to put on the Santa hat, but I was like, nah, it's not Christmas. <laughs> it's actually chilly. It is actually chilly down here. Um, it, it was a little it was a little cold this morning when I got up. I was like, oof. So for, they say we're going to get eight inches of snow this coming week. I don't think so. For us, chilly is in the 30s. That's that's chilly. That's probably not much to you guys. Uh, because yeah, we got family in Florida, and they were saying it was pretty cold yesterday. Yeah, it got down uh, to 27. So if your if your yeah. pipes aren't prepared for it, we got to open cabinets, maybe do That's a slight crazy, trip. Man. But yeah, um, yeah, I know max voltage. I know it's not chilly for you guys. So, but I don't have to heat my house. My mining rigs heat it for me. <laughs> it's only during the summer in Florida that I have to what pay up, electricity. Rabbit. How you doing, buddy? Max manual. Vitality. 22 in Georgia. Jeez. Vitalik's been all over the place. I saw him last night on DCA Adventure uh, when you guys were talking. Peace oh, yeah. to you guy. Thank you for stopping by. Chancoin, as always. Love that, Gary. Jay Bohannon. Emmanuel. Thank you for stopping by. It's 55 here right now. It's 55 where you are or who? Right now. How are you warmer than me? Must be that cold Atlantic air. Well, no, it's coming from the yes, Arctic. Man. Because it was really weird. It was really weird. And we'll get into After the show here, guys. quarantine 15 now. It's now quarantine 20. Y'all crazy. Quarantine 20. Well, it was really weird because before this cold hit, we got rain. But what happened was is, uh, that crazy storm that I guess is sweeping across America. Um, I had all my windows open, right? So it was a cool evening. It got warm that day. So we got up into the 70s, uh, high 70s. And then later on that night, it rained. And then when it does that... It has a high probability of tornadoes. And I went to go mm -hmm. close to because I heard the rain coming and I felt the pressure drop. And if you get older, you know what I mean when you feel pressure drop. But I went to go close the window and I got sucked towards the window. So it was it was some downburst somewhere near me because our power went out and mm -hmm. everything. Um, but I closed the windows real quick. And then after that, I just got a nice little cold snap, which is nice for my mining rigs uh, because they run a lot better. Matter of fact, uh, let me show it on my screen. If you guys look at my clocks, this is the 3080, RTX 3080, and I'm pushing the memory at the max, and it is not thermal nice. throttling. So since I did that fix with the thermal pads... This is in your main PC like yep. right now as we speak. Yep. Um, streaming on it. Matter of fact, I should probably turn those clocks up if we're streaming. Let's go ahead and uh, give it a stock so, overclock. Okay, so you, do you do this normally? Do you turn? Do you overclock your card while you, while you stream? Um, I do. I have presets, so this is like gaming overclock. Kind of curious. Um, this is stock clocks, gaming overclock. Um, then I have like some weird when I was doing my testing. But this is my memory. This is the Ethereum overclock right now. The minus two hundred plus fifteen hundred oh, yeah. on the mem. But yeah, when I'm streaming, I, mean, I, I, I have like an, over. an overclock setting like preset for mining. But for like everything else, like I don't overclock. Like, I just. Leave it at stock and let the the card do its own. It I have a Zotac in this PC right now, and I'm ready to change it because I really don't like it. I've tested out a few cards to see. Zotac like, what, what? What? It's a 1080 Zotac uh, amp. It's not an amped extreme, just a regular two fan amp. Still has the metal backplate. You know, it does terrible at thermals. Well. 
it, have you tried replacing thermal paste or thermal pads on it? It can get expensive, yeah. especially if you use good thermal pads. So it's not something yeah. that everybody. I use do, minus but... eight pads, but yeah. yeah, those are those are the best. Yeah, and I've changed them. It's it it's better, you know what I mean? Like it's better, but not where I've been. Like before that, I had a ten seventy uh, Ti EPGA for the Win Three. Great card. It just liked artifact a lot. I love EVGA. Oh, some so somewhere over there is also in Jax, and um, he said he he knows what I'm talking about because when it hit, it knocked down a stone bench and bent some the umbrella that it was on. Yeah, it it was it was really it was really crazy because it was just sudden. It was just it was a hot warm day. Now here comes the rain. Then right behind it, cold snap. And you know when hot air goes trapped below cold air, that turns into a tornado. Right. Um, so we were just, you know, we're in Florida. This is the weather we're used to. So anyways, Dan to Dane stopped by. Uh, we've been talking off, uh, off, you know, off the screen. And he's actually uh, helped us out. And we're going to be doing a Raven giveaway. I got to get the, it's in the description, but I'm going to go ahead and copy it right now. You're uh, F.A. Dan the Dane. Yeah, dude. Really good people. appreciate peoples. you, buddy. You do, you do a lot for the community. You're awesome. I hope you had a fantastic Christmas. Can we post uh, links in, in live chat now? I saw you guys did it yesterday. Yep. Yes, sir. I see yours. All right. Savage Mind, if you want to as copy that. As, uh, as long as you're a mod. You can even turn on the setting to where it allows everybody to post links, but I don't suggest that. Yeah, because then we wind up seeing some XXX sites somewhere. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, we're going to be giving away some Raven today um, towards the end of the stream. So hang tight. Stay tuned. We've got some uh, information for you. Right now, it's actually pretty good. I'm not sure if you guys Savage. woke up and checked it. <laughs> what a hater. Just this, hates is Dan, this is Dan the Dane just hates Raven. <laughs> he always wants to give it away. Maybe he's a secret... He's a Raven lover. Raven uh, dev, you know what I mean? And he has a bunch of Raven from, from working. No, Dan, Dan... You know what I mean? We know we know the truth, Savage. Don't act coy. You know the truth. Dan's just, uh, you know, he's... Humble, loving guy. Yep. So today, this morning, at 10 o'clock... Savage is just jealous because he's never won it. We almost broke... At 10 o'clock, well, at 10 o'clock, I noticed that we broke the 25K barrier. Last night during DCA Adventure... They were looking for it, and we did break the 25K, but we just broke barely above it, and then we pulled back down. Now, this morning, we broke above 25K, and we almost hit 26K. That is great to see. I like going last night, though, man. It is... Blew up. Who's hanging on to their light coin still? Yeah. <laughs> I used to, um, I'm not sure if anybody else did this, but... I keep all, uh, I tested, that's how I tested Celsius. I just threw my Litecoin in there. Yeah, same here. Like all, the, all the Litecoin I had. Threw Earn it in interest there and on I was it. like, I've earned quite a bit of Litecoin since I've had it in there. Yeah. You know, I'm holding, I'm hodling it anyway. Like that, I plan to hodl for a while. Like right. I have no intentions of selling it. So... Well, I told my but I told my buddy who unfortunately bought Litecoin uh, back in the 2017 2018 uh, bull market uh, at a really high price, uh, which yeah. kind of screwed him. I was like, okay, well, if you're gonna hodl it until it does go back up again, you might as well put it in a platform and where you can earn some interest on. So he's yeah. been in Celsius, and yeah, he's he's been working on it. But yeah, uh, not not financial advice. I used to when I was swapping. Uh, when Litecoin was at its lowest point, I was swapping all mining rewards for Litecoin. Like, like immediately. I used to as fast as, as, fast as I possibly could. Uh, wasn't using Nice Hash. I was just using swap services. Uh, but you don't swap. have any hardware that actually mines Litecoin, right? No. Okay. No. So what I used to do is uh, with GPU mining, um, specifically more recently, not in the past, because mm -hmm. um, is mine on Zerg pool or uh, Block What is it? Blockmasters? Various pools that allow you to get paid out in Litecoin. And the reason I chose that Pro, is because Litecoin shows. Pro hashing is a really good pool that I've been looking into and testing out and doing some research on. Do they allow they Litecoin? Let, they let you swap to anything. Okay. You can swap to whatever coin you want. But Litecoin has the cheapest mine, fees. You can mine Ethereum and get paid in fucking probably Uniswap. Excuse my language. <laughs> Dang it, Mikkel. I know. <laughs> but um, this is not, not DC Adventure. Advice. 
That was my one moment. I'm sorry. That's my first it's, slip up of the morning. It's all good. It's all good. It's not. This is not a kid show, but I try to keep it. I, uh, I know. Neutral I know. friendly. I do, I do too. You know. But except for on DCA. Litecoin was the cheapest payout, or not the cheap, yeah, it had the cheapest fee, so to speak. Yeah. And I did a video about that way back in the beginning of the channel. Um, Mentioned Zilla a while back. Look at that thing go. Yeah, dude. Zillica? Zilla, yeah. Zilla's doing good. Dude, if anybody's looked at their wallet, their wallet's pretty cool. Like, their web wallet, you can swap to Bitcoin in their web wallet. $1,000 a month with no KYC. Like, in their web wallet. Whoopsie. Stop doing that. Let's see what Zill's at. There we go. So seven cents. Let's look at the three month. Yeah, it's getting it's getting a little little picker muppa. A little picker up. Or no, I'm thinking of the Nim the Nim wallet, sorry. The Nim wallet has auto switch auto auto swapping. Oh, they made the site look a lot better. I haven't been to Coin Market Cap in a while. Gross. I never use Coin Market Cap anymore. I, 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 yeah, it's, it's, it's not something I Bro use anymore, but they made times it. Times with downtime issues, says Jason Osborne. Thank you. Uh, uh, I appreciate that. I'm doing research currently so that any feedback is good feedback. Well, yeah, it's, it's good to get community feedback yeah, and general love experience. Love it. So. Bitcoin, I'm just going to read a couple articles like I normally do this show. Uh, we talk about crypto mining, crypto news, and then sometimes just ramble on a rant. Um, but... It was great, Jay Bohannon. He said he, how was DCA Venture last night? He was, I missed it. We gave away like well over $100 in crypto. Various various cryptos too. Were like yeah. uh, like Monero, what? Bitcoin, uh, Ethereum Classic, um, Litecoin. That's what I was saying. Uh, like, if people so, follow this community, they 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 get a lot of good stuff. You know, you get free yeah. merch from Doge Lord, Aeon, um, and cryptocurrencies. Yep. There's a lot of like good stuff being given out in this in the community. So you guys, in my opinion, are lucky. I guess we are we're all lucky because uh, we're earning an income off of cryptocurrency, or at least some of us are. Uh, sure. when, when other people in the world may not even have a job right now. So let's be grateful for what we have. And I give thanks to, to all of you supporting us. Amen. So Bitcoin hits the 25K all-time high milestone. Now, keep in mind, this was six hours ago. And we, we just broke almost 20, uh, 26, uh, 26K. But here's the key thing I want you guys to pick up on is the market cap. The price of Bitcoin surpassed 25000 on December 25th, reaching an all-new all-time high of 25,020 uh, on Bitstamp and surpassing the market cap of Visa in a historical milestone. Visa, the financial service giants, is valued at $460 billion, according to Yahoo Finance. And as of December 26, Bitcoin is comfortably hovering at $462 billion market cap. So that would put us in the top 13 if we were you know, compared or in the same stock bracket as these guys right here that you see on your screen. Yeah. Um, you know... We know what Bitcoin is, so I'm not going to read this part, but Visa is for-profit corporation. Some may argue that the direct comparison between the two is not apt as they are fundamentally, fundamentally different. But Bitcoin surpassed the valuation of Visa and is symbolic uh, above all else and the current market cap of Bitcoin would theoretically make it the 13th largest company in the world. Meanwhile, throughout 2020, the institutional interest in Bitcoin has been surging at a point where the institutional demand for Bitcoin continues to increase exponentially, this, the surpassing of Visa market cap could further boost the confidence around Bitcoin amongst institutions. More institutions or accredited investors have been gaining exposure in Bitcoin like, uh, like through Grayscale and CME Bitcoin Futures. Uh, the assets under management of Grayscale is nearing $17 billion. I remember when they first opened up and they only had a few contracts. At the interest of CME, uh, Bitcoin futures market consistently remains above 1 billion. Visa has also shown more enthusiasm towards crypto in the recent months following Square and PayPal would, support Bitcoin. I would not. Someone over there, he says, PayPal also lets you buy uh, Bitcoin. Uh, he goes, would you recommend? No. Okay. I would not. Not your keys, not your coins, right, Mikko? Right. Not your keys, not your coins. They, they're not even, you're not even owning Bitcoin. Like They don't even own Bitcoin. Like, literally they've stated it it's there like 
you don't actually own it. You can't send it to your wallet. You can't do anything with it. You can buy and sell it, and that's it. Right? Yeah, if you could withdraw it, like if you could no. buy it through Bitcoin and then withdraw it to like a cold wallet of some type, mm -hmm. then yeah, but you can't. You have to do everything through them. They want you to stay on their platform. Yeah, they, they say they're going to allow you to spend it at one of, you know, their hundred thousands of merchants that they have on their platform, but that's still not implemented yet. So right now, all you can do is buy and sell fake Bitcoin on their platform because it's not real Bitcoin. They've already stated that they're not holding any any crypto at all so you're just holding a number value of bitcoin that you may own keep in mind if you guys are just jumping in now there is a giveaway going on as some raven coin uh, i posted a link in live chat let me know if it's not working but also it's in the description of this video go ahead and enter and we'll uh, do the giveaway towards the end of the stream for sure bitcoin is not headed financial for financial advice now j j j um does ta um mm -hmm for the DC Adventure team, and, and he has his own videos and stuff like that, if you guys haven't checked it out already. Um, and I think we were talking about something like this uh, not too long ago, and what it is is Bitcoin's headed for the Christmas volatility at the 100K BTC options expire. So the options are gonna expire if they haven't already, and a couple people pulled out contracts or options on betting that Bitcoin would get to 100K, and we're nowhere near that, obviously. Um, however, let me just read this to you. Roughly 2.3 billion worth of Bitcoin futures is set to expire on Christmas Day. That was yesterday, setting the stage for a volatile week in the cryptocurrency market. Um, we're going to skip that. Uh, but the, the key point here is 102,000 Bitcoin options will expire on Friday. Again, yesterday. Option contracts allow holders to buy and sell Bitcoin at a specific price, which is known as a strike price. The Friday expiry has notable clusters around the 15k strike price and at the 20k strike price according to the SKU. Bitcoin option contracts is widely regarded as a volatile event for the flagship cryptocurrency because as the exp uh, expiry nears, holders adjust their contracts. Traders who are in profit may also decide to receive a payout and dump their cryptocurrency. Well, clearly, there was a little bit of something last night. Let's see here. Let's go to the hourly chart real quick. But I think uh, most of them are looking bullish or or, or or thinking bullish. Was that hourly? Yeah, that's hourly. Where am I at here? So last night would have been right around here. And I don't see any really super negative actions. You know, we went into the 26th after DCA Adventures live stream, still, still in an yeah, upward first, trend. That first big bubble right there uh, to your left is when we were streaming. Because I remember that going on. That was the stream happening because we started touching 25k almost and we're like, oh, right. And so the, the contracts expired on Christmas Day. So let's let's cover the whole day here. So that starts about right here. We had a little dip and then just went straight up towards the 25k and then pulled back a little bit before it switched into the 26 and that's it. So I believe people were adjusting according to what they believe bitcoin's going to do and and bitcoin's in a completely bull bull run right now and i don't think there's anything that uh Ethereum's negative news can stop thing. it what is it pumping the 644 according to the chart i'm watching do you think we'll ever get back to the 1400 range i wish that'd be nice man can you imagine I mining highly doubt it but uh, you know what i mean like, but I, I don't think it will it'd be nice well, maybe eight, maybe eight hundred to a thousand would be realistic. I th I think yeah, I think you know. eight, you're right about the eight to a thousand is, is in the realistic uh, norm sometime in 2021, especially when we go to proof of stake when it's no longer mineable. That'll, that'll be when it happens, and then what happens after that will be a mystery. Yeah, when you take when you take the the it, it's unfortunate the mining community will have to switch to various coins, algos, or projects, but. Uh, when I just don't think they're going to do it. I don't think they're going to switch. I don't think they should, but that's I me. They will. No, I don't. I think it'd be very unwise of them to do that. Like you have a strong level of support with the mining community. Do not and ruin it. Not just that, but like the security of like all of the nodes, C twenty tokens, uh, all of the contracts that are on the Ethereum network all the dApps that are on the Ethereum network, like everything that's built on it relies on how it's built now. So if it changes and all of that changes, 
how is that going to affect everything that's currently built? Right. You know, like, I mean, granted, they have time to change and adapt. You know, there's not much going to change for them, but how will it act for the security wise? Like, if you're not validating anything. Anymore. And security is of the utmost importance, and uh, there's been a lot of security issues mm-hmm. this year. Yeah, it's it's gonna. That's what I'm saying it's gonna be a mystery when that comes. Like if they if they do it, it'll be the pump. If they don't, it'll be the pump before the dump. Regardless. Well, I I think Ethereum is gonna continue to be profitable for us miners, um, and various projects will. Uh, as long as Bitcoin continues to go in a bullish trend and we may see a pullback, but a 30% pullback is becoming less and less likely. Now, I could be wrong, not financial advice, but there's a good chance that Bitcoin will remain well supported by the institutional demand and rise of so-called liquidity wallets. Addresses that have spent, sent less than 25% of BTC they've ever received, Chain Analysis believes liquidity wallets hold 77% of the 148 million mined BTC that hasn't been lost. So I think the the demand from the institutions and another thing, the SEC kind of went, all right, you know what, you guys, you brokers, you know, you got five years, all right? And this is just a summary. I'm going to read the bits of the article, but this is just a summary. So the most of the regulators or most of the people uh, that, that run these uh, organizations were just like, okay, well, we want to see what the government's going to do before we start, you know, really getting into it. And now the SEC is saying, all right, hey, you got five years, go do your thing. We're going to be working with you and other people in the space to identify where we can regulate and how we can not stifle growth. And I think that was a great move by the SEC. Also, because they don't fully I hope understand that stops yet. grayscale. Like, grayscale has a problem. Yeah. Because, I mean, what, in November, they sold more Bitcoin than was actually mined. And that's not even, like, saying, like, all of the farms out there that are mining for themselves, not for Grayscale. Right. So they sold a lot of uh, IOU Bitcoin right notes you know they, and they don't, it, you don't want to actually hold any of the bitcoin that you bought like they don't they don't own it they there's not enough there wasn't enough right you know like especially it wasn't theirs so it's just hopefully that helps stop them because that's not okay no that's the same thing that happened you know uh with gold the them gold selling standing IO, yeah you know them selling ious and not actually having gold they still do that now right you know but it's regulated more to a term. That's pretty much what the, the U.S. banks are right now, right? So if yeah, I wanted to go stupid. take go to the bank right now and pull out a million, they couldn't even give it to me right then and there because they don't mm-hmm. have it on hand. They don't have it in the bank. It's a bunch of zeros and ones in, in, in an electronic form, uh, which is ironic when people make fun of the, the blockchain technology and cryptocurrency as a whole because that's all what our digits are. We go to our online banks, we check how much we have, we pay bills, whatever. Uh, it's all zeros and ones now. Um, and it's, it's yeah. going to continue to be that. So they need to get onto the blockchain uh, it, in general uh, if they don't want to stifle growth because otherwise they're going to fall off. I, I think fiat's, fiat's nearing the end of its its life. And what I mean by that is is we're already using electronic cards, right? We can use Apple Pay, yeah. Google Pay, all the kinds of stuff. Um, you don't even got to use your card. You can use your phone. I do have some couple dollars in, in cash to my left here, but I don't use it. Everywhere I go, I just pay uh, electronically. So paper money. Those select in the past. stores, they don't even they don't even like take cash. They like oh we're no cash yeah. store. And you're yeah. like what? Like we're 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 at that point now. Hey, could, could you uh, imagine? So you got the bodega down the street. When I used to live in New York, the bodega down the street that took cash and stuff like that that would get robbed. Robert goes in there is like, give me all your money. Well, dude, we only take card. How ca- I can't. Like, there's no money to give yeah, you. Right. Like that's just gonna that, that Robert's gonna be mad. Yeah. Like, think of the outcome of that situation. Like, it, it, I hope I hope the the store clerk is okay. But I mean, it, there's there's no point in it. But robbery has been increasing in various forms, not just the old smash and grab and and stuff like that. It's it's getting very sure. technical nowadays. But real quick, uh, rabbit mining has like a couple of points. Go ahead. That he's like hitting over here, and I don't want to miss him before we start going too far. Um, one, he says ETH, he thinks ETH will die at 2.0. Um, he says it's worthless after the APY is dropping every week. Uh, 
Savage says, as long as the value keeps pace, the APY percent, it'll be fine. Um, true. Um, but he says, what is your take on BTC in January? Uh, coming up to Chinese New Year is when, is when? Mid-January? Yes, Chinese New Year is mid-January. And there's always, like, no action. Well, let's let's no let's action. let's find out. All right, so let's because they don't they don't trade. So let's look at January. If I can scroll out here, okay, so it's right here. January. When is Chinese New Year? Uh, I couldn't tell you a date. I got it. So February twelfth. Oh wow! So not January, February twelfth. So what was it last year? Let's see if it changes. <laughs> January twenty fifth. All right. So January twenty fifth okay. is what we're looking for. Wow, that's a big difference, right? America, we like consistency. Oh, it's almost it's almost a whole month difference. Oh wow! So on the twenty fifth of January, which is right here let me zoom in not much of anything happened a dip yep yeah we were already in that Steady. dip area and then we just went up um now the chinese the chinese do have a vast uh, amount of mining farms not saying that nothing will ever happen but it, i think uh, it's not going to be a significant impact bitcoin's getting so big now in my opinion that even in a bull, like the bull market going on right now, even with negative news, right, with the situation in the U.S. Uh, about the elections and and this and that, Bitcoin didn't care. It just kept doing what it wanted to do. And Bitcoin will surprise you. You think it's going to pull back, and it was like, nope, I'm going to go up. And then you think it's going to go up, and it's like, nope, I'm going to pull back. So nobody has a crystal ball can tell you definitively. You can do all the TA you want in the it's world. Crypto, it's crypto, man. Yeah, it's you cannot hundred percent predict. It's like the weather. That's why we make the joke about, you know, like trading. It's always say like, you know, Jay the weatherman or uh, the trading forecast because it's like the weather. Like you can, you can guess, <laughs> you can have a really good estimate, you know, educated guess of it, but it's not going to be exactly right. And weatherman are wrong like 40% of the time, by the way. <laughs> That's, yeah. It's going to rain. It's like sunny. It's like, uh, but then again, it just depends where you live. Um, so Chinese New Year is seven days long. Yeah, PCB guy. Okay, so then, thank you, PCB guy, for that helpful information. I knew it was multiple days, but it was a week. So from January twenty fifth. Right, looking good then. Screw the moon. We we pumped. <laughs> we pumped. Yeah. So the and during the seven day what trend, up, we yeah we we pumped. We got a little pullback again at the end yeah. of it, but yeah. And then the year before, I'm sure if we look it up, we can find it. But yeah, I, I don't. How was the how was the mining difficulty during that time? Is it possible to see that? Is that a thing? Uh, I don't. Was, do, uh, does Hash Four say that? Can we see a history? Yeah, we see all time. A, that's a year long. So, so the difficulty around that time was about fourteen point seven terahash. Fifteen. You know, well, that's network hash rate, isn't it? No, that's the difficulty. Yeah. So that flat point, right here. And the difficulty is so much higher now. It wasn't the all time high of November twentieth, but yeah. Now we're down a little bit. Yeah. I don't think it's going to have a significant impact on it whatsoever. I was just, I was just kind of curious if that, uh, you know, because they have majority mining farms. So if something goes down, they can't go to work. So right. they can't go fix it. Well, I think the rest of the world will pick up on it. So let me read the, a couple key points here. So the, you know what? I'm not going to read the key points. It's every article that I go over in these videos, uh, no matter what stream it is, whether I have a guest or not, it's always going to be in the description if you guys want to check it out. So long story short, summary, the SEC is taking a step back and giving five years. Uh, we know this situation with uh, with Grayscale, like uh, Mikkel was talking about. 
but there's some interesting points that you guys might want to check this out. So uh, obviously the bigger companies and the brokers are really happy the SEC's taking a step back. But at the same time, this goes against what I believe crypto should be used for, and that's money for the people. And of course, it's getting super institutionalized, which is great for the price. But unfortunately, it's putting the, a, a mass amount of the, the cryptocurrency we love in the hands of, of the, the, the 1%, uh, so to speak. But I'm not going to get all uh, tinfoil hat on you guys. Uh, <laughs> moving on. Top crypto mining hardware to expect in 2021. And Savage Mind did a really good video on this. Matter of fact, let me go check it out. Because somebody mentioned, uh, I forgot, forgive me if I forgot your name. But um, uh, somebody mentioned, uh, what's the name of that miner, Savage? Um, the Liz, Lizny Corp. Here it is, right here. Yeah. Liz Corp. Liz Corp. He did a video on it. Why don't you post a video on your tweets, bro? Come on, man. Get Get with me, Savage. Get with me. Post the thumbnail, but not the, without the link to the video. Where is it at? Where is it at? Was it a live stream? No, here we go. Should manners panic? All right. It is a. Oh, let me pause that. So, this miner, which pulls about three thousand watts, what was the hash rate that we saw, Savage? Two point. What was it? How many? How many mega hash? Let me see here. I guess we could just look it up. It was. Did you see the? Did you see, see us talk about this? I had seen the article prior to this. I've see. seen it about a couple of days before. Well, the video, I wonder if his video shows it. Oh, wow, there's the price. I finally see the price. You see that? $4,388. Um, six gigabytes of memory. Okay, that's going to be, we just hit the four gigs. So I wonder how that's going to work out. Oh, that's an A10 though. Where where is it at? That's why. I should probably just click the video. There we go. Cause it showed the hash rate. Did we ever Savage? Did we ever confirm how much the price is? What? I would assume so. It was a lot. So three thousand watts, yeah, two point seven giga hash. That's a lot. Two point seven giga hash at three thousand watts is is pretty efficient. Um, and in the last stream last week, uh, a lot of people were. Uh, one a, a gentleman was mentioning, you know, should we be worried about it? You know, is GP mining dead because of this? And I and I yeah, said no. Six thousand six thousand dollars. Okay, there you go. So six thousand dollars for that. So let, let's let's six thousand according to the article that I have from the block. And any additional info you want to throw in it? Because I'm a, I'm gonna check out something while you while you do that. Anything uh, interesting you see from it? It was from F2 Pool's review of it. Uh, I was putting down what twenty seven twenty seven or two thousand seven hundred and thirty three mega hashes a second three thousand watts an hour. Uh, prices of 4,000 won or about $6,150. Four gigabytes of memory. Look at, look at my screen real quick, if you can, or the zoom screen. Yeah, I see it. Look at the hourly, the daily, the week, and the month profit. And did I do that right? So the hash rate for mega hash, a thousand mega hash equals one giga hash. Right. And a thousand, uh... A thousand kilo hash equals a thousand uh, or one mega hash. So if I did that right, that's five dollars and thirty-seven cents profit. Even with let's see where we would break even. If we we would buy this at six thousand dollars, we would break even. And where's it at? Where's the break even point? Oh, right here. Forty-six days. Forty-six days. That's crazy. All right, guys, let's let's get together and get one of these. Let's get Savage it. Savage says six thousand will be super low. I don't know. That's according to F two pool? F two pool's personal review. And this is this is one of the things that I mentioned too. Tech man, Tech man says paper rate in six months. So when you move to proof of stake, then yeah, what are you going to mine with this? You could probably switch yeah, to another exactly. out, uh, another coin, but it won't be as profitable. Um, matter of fact, what is the next top coin? Let me go back to what to mine. And let's say we got. Hopefully, you'd be able to mine Ethereum Classic with it. Well, Ethereum Classic is is a different algo now, isn't it? ETC hash. They can. It's 
still it's, it's if they still could the program it, they could still program it to do it if they could. You well, know what I mean, it's still it's still eth hash, but it's a different form of eth hash. So oh. they would have to do a little bit of work, but it would definitely like save it. Oh, it so he said it'll mine etc hash. Yeah. Okay. Well, Elysium is the next highest thing. We would break even in 187 days, but that would only knock down. Still, that would, it would still, still be good. profitable. That's still less than a year. Even if you don't ROI in your 46 days, you would knock out a good chunk of it. I need to talk to Red Panda Mining. <laughs> I need to talk to Red. We need to get one of these. Just the test. Choose when unboxing and firing it up. Comes with both firmwares. See? Yeah. I was like, I know they would be able to do it. Like, cause it's easily doable. I just linked uh, Savage Mind's uh, video in the live chat. If you guys want to check that out afterwards, uh, where he talks in more detail about this Phoenix Miner, uh, or excuse me, uh, the Lindsay Phoenix Ethereum ASIC Miner. Uh, but yeah, uh, I don't think that will kill GPU mining. I just think that's a pretty efficient uh, device there. And, and that's the, what brought this up is this article here, top crypto mining hardware to expect in 2021. Um, let's see what that the, was a is a lot. Let's see what they got here. So next year, Bitmain will continue to delight us uh, with the Series 19 ASIC miners, uh, according to the manufacturer. Then we also have the Avalon miner 1246 in September, which claims to be 30% better efficiency than its previous models. Um, the Avalon 1246 could reach 20 terahash per second, while the A11 um, only gets 60 to 68 uh, terahash. And I'm sure it will cost a pretty penny as well. So we got some new ASICs coming. Uh, obviously, we got some new GPUs. You guys have, if you follow the channel, uh, I always try to provide information that I can on, on new mining hardware, if possible. So we got the 3060 Ti, which I think is the best bang for the buck yeah, if you can find it. I agree. He says the Lizzie's been on online mining for months. Agree. I agree. Can you buy one? And where? No, but I mean, publicly, probably not. But I'm sure there's a farm of them. Like always, there's always a farm. They're always testing them. You just gotta look for the hash rate jump, the large hash rate jump. It's not gonna. They're they're easy about it now, where they make it so it's not as noticeable. You know, they try to mask it the best they can. They'll spread it. They'll spread they'll half put on of a few the machines. farm across multiple pools. You know, probably right there. <laughs> Probably that first that first run up. They've been online for months. So this is only what a monthly chart? Or is yes. this or is this yearly? Yearly, looks like. I can't change it. Where where can I change it? Doesn't show me where I can change it. Let's go to a different one, see if it changes. Uh monthly, yearly. Well this 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 may not be so yeah, maybe 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 since like late August, maybe August yeah, September. That's a good one. When did that video go out? That video. Let's go back to Savage Mind. When did this video come out? This video came out well December. So yeah, it's probably been it's probably been online for a while, like you said. Yep. So we'll have to. He says so you can tell. <laughs> yeah, there's a big run off right there. Yeah, that's probably it. Savage, if you got the link, go that's ahead and post point. the giveaway link. Uh, we're getting ready to wrap up things and do the giveaway here. Um, so back to new mining hardware for 2021. We got new GPUs on the way. The 3060 Ti just came out. Best bang for the buck, in my opinion. Uh, comparable to the 5000 series. The 6000 series, in my eyes, right now with the 6800 and 6800 XT, not worth it considering the price and availability. 3060 Ti also is hard to get your hands on. But if you could get a 3060 Ti or the 5700 XT, those would be my GPUs that I would recommend going for. Um, yep. We got new GPUs on the way, right? So January 12th, we got CES. We're gonna have uh, an NVIDIA. Online CES too. Yeah, online CES. NVIDIA is doing its own announcement not related to CES on January 12th. And then AMD is also doing it, uh, like back to back. So we're gonna jump from stream to stream. If I'm available. Supposedly should have more GPUs like coming beginning of the year too. So stock should be increasing. Oh, dude, I've been I've been getting mass notifications. If you guys are not yeah. getting notified and you're still looking for GPUs and you have not got them, you should be in my Discord, which I have two really good groups that notify us of GPUs the dropping. The stock drop bot for like a couple of days because it was just like it was just going up. Hey, hey, it was going ham, dude. 
there was one day I was gone and it, it was just like a hundred plus messages. And I was like, what in the world is going on here? Good job, Rabbit Mining. Red Panda, what's up? Yeah, Panda's going live in like 20 minutes, guys. Yep. We usually stream oh, before Panda. Red Panda goes on, so it's I'll our... Post, I'll, post the, I'll post the link, Savage. Here. Okay. He's looking for the link to the article that I'm reading. Thank you for stopping by, Red Panda. All right, so yeah, CES January 12th. Keep an eye on that. Savage. We also got some new motherboards coming out, right? So everybody knows the Asus B250 or the, the ASRock uh, H110 uh, Pro BTC, yada, yada, yada. Um, there's going to be a new motherboard coming out. Biostar has one of the biggest hardware producers, recently introduced the TB360 BTC D+. Motherboard designed for cryptocurrency mining. The motherboard has eight PCI by 16 slots, which is sufficient for a standard rig. So eight card rig and stuff like that. So there's there's all kinds of new hardware coming out. Uh, Biostar, if you ever watch this video, I would be interested in testing out your new motherboard. Um, I'll probably send you an email. Hit me up. I'm uh, interested. I'm interested to see you know, how that pans out. I like new motherboards. And speaking of Bitmain, you guys know there was a hard fork of Bitmain with 600 million settled in favor of McCree Zahn. After months of wrestling for control of the company, Bitcoin co-founder, I'm going to mess up these names, Jawan Wu and McCree Zahn has reportedly reached a settlement, according to the Chinese crypto expert Colin Wu, and reported by multiple local publications. Both parties have agreed to 600 million compensation for Mr. Wu and with Zan taking control of the crypto miner maker operations. And Bitmain is one of the biggest companies that make ASICs, right? Yep. I mean, there's nothing bigger. And they, they primarily supply to China, but you can get them over here too. Um, the biggest publicly. There are other ASIC manufacturers. They just don't sell to the China. They're just not public? Yep. Well, the thing. they split up. Ooh, Panda the Pusa link to the new, new motherboards. Ooh. Fancy. Go look at it. Yep, there they are. Okay, one, two, Look wait, wait, clean. that's more than eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So technically you can make this uh, 14, uh, 14 plus because if you get the U-bit adapter, which I have linked in the description, all my recommended mining hardware, by the way, is in the description. There's also guys. an, M, there's also an M, M.2 slot, so you could at least add one more port there if you needed. I would just use it for SSD storage. But yeah, you could technically convert it from M.2 into another PCIe slot. Mm -hmm. uh, but the, you could take a U-bit adapter and split one of those one buys into multiple, uh, which is pretty pretty sweet. Let's see what the IO. IO is basic, everything we need. I don't recommend running the integrated graphics because that just takes up lanes on your, on your CPU. But you could plus if most, you wanted to. Plus most mining OSs you don't need. Uh, a a Video, graphical anyway. output. Yep. I don't like the fact that there's only so many USB ports. Well, six is fine. You only what need a keyboard, mouse. Maybe if you do have like that the hash raptor display, maybe uh, two more. So one for power and one for um, output. So that's not bad. That's fine. So I would plug the and keyboard. And mouse I mean, there. FPGA rigs. That's not gonna. That's no way. No. Who still has a PS2 keyboard? I still have a PS2 keyboard and mouse. I don't use it on my day to day. I use the USB, but I mean, PS2 is available there too. But that's pretty sweet. Uh, VRMs, we don't need to worry about VRMs when it comes to mining because your CPU is not really stressing out too much. You should only be rocking a dual core CPU, maybe dual core four threads. Yeah, you can run a four core eight thread, but that's really wasteful. You want an energy efficient, low wattage CPU, two, uh, two slots for memory. Savage. Perfectly that's fine. That's a pretty cool motherboard. I like it. What you see, Mikkel? Uh, he was saying that the the price was based on the price that I had seen per the article that I posted was uh, if you for bought eight. in batches. Uh, it's for A10 Pros. Okay, so he's guessing 10 to 15k. All right, so let, we're getting towards the end of our show here, and I still got to so do the giveaway. I don't think it'll be that high. Let's see here. Maybe maybe six to eight. I would think six to eight, but I could be wrong. Like, if they're trying to get rid of what they have left because they've already mined with a bunch, like, they're not going to sell them for crazy amount of price. They're going to want to get rid of them. Let's say it's 8500 8, and we're going to calculate. 
that break even point would only be 68 days. So great. It only went Holy up like crap, a few days. Dude. That's Hamer crazy. Says, crypto, my, crypto miner bros told me that the Phoenix, Lizzie Phoenix has a 14K uh, March batch. Panda, can with you. With a higher of 21K. Can you get your hands on one? Holy crap. Let me know if you can get your hands on one, because I, I would be interested in, in looking at it with you. Let me know. So it's crazy. Dude. If it's a 14k batch, let's see what happens. So at at, at eight thousand five hundred dollars, break even says 68 days still. So they even said don't buy it. <laughs> yeah, because if you buy <laughs> it, my is like don't buy it, please. If you, <laughs> if you buy it and then proof of stake oh, change it comes around, then you're screwed. Happens. It's still it 112 days. Faster. That'd be some. That just like wreck you. Even at 14K, it's a break even is 112 days. So you you better hope that proof of stake don't come in until after that 112 days so you could at least make your money back on your initial investment. I mean, if he said it is mineable on Ethereum Classic. So what is that hash rate on Ethereum Classic? Because uh, that was that is where you're probably going to go next. Well, I would suspect they're very similar. So it would still be around 2.7 giga hash. But let's see what the break I mean, even like, on that you is. Know, that, that's what I was mainly yeah. So let's say 14K, uh, calculate. Your daily would be 35 in profit, break evens oh, a little bit over a year, 391 days. So yeah, you could still switch projects, uh, Elysium, Ethergem, Ethereum Classic. $30 a day on ETC, that's crazy. But, you know, with Ethereum, it is, it's a huge drop stepping down to one of the other coins. Imagine the net hash. Oh, wow. He said the manufacturer is a foreman, former Canon Avalon CTO. Nice. Wow, so he's from Canon. So it could be good hardware. It could be because Avalon makes some pretty good ASICs. Um, yeah, they make good stuff. All right, so wrapping up because we got two minutes left, I just want to talk again about the Ledger situation. The Ledger, uh, uh, Ledger users are threatening legal action after hacker dumps personal data. Um, it was on a public forum. Uh, it's been multiple Panda. dumps online, they're by crazy. the way. So if you're concerned about your information being out there because of the data dump, um, they're, they're get your information from official sources, like Ledger Don't actually has a database like, and stuff like that. Fumbling around. Yeah. Um, if you want to check something, I have a link in the description to a website called Have I Been Pwned? My recommendation is don't check the password ones because if you have been pwned and then you type in your password, that database, if that is uh, compromised, then your password just got pwned again. So don't do that. But you can check your email address. You can see what's up. Um, but just look, the ledger compromise is your personal information. I don't know about you, but I've been getting scams, and phishing and emails, that. all kinds of stuff. So I'm not really worried about it. But if you're worried about it, check out the website. Yeah, the the panda talked about a a good wallet. I can't remember the name of it. Panda, you did a review on a, a crypto wallet, uh, I believe cold storage wallet. Um, there's a plenty of good options. Ledger messed up here. I forgive them personally. I do. You may not, um, but I'm not concerned about it. My email was already compromised with yep, the Experian hack. I agree, Shan Coin. I agree. So I am not too worried about it. 110. percent I wonder how much memory that Lindsay uh, Phoenix Miner has. 4.4 4 gigabytes. Oh, okay. Well, that's not good. It's going to last for, like, what? Half of 2021? Yep. Uh, Plus, uh, Chaincoin makes a very good point. They've mined on these for a while. Like that, This happened in October when the big run up, uh, run up came on, on ASICs. So they've made their money back. Now they're just trying to get rid of all the extras. Yes, and Max Voltage, it is okay. What I like to do, though, is uh, disconnect any power. Solder GPU, so I'm uninstalling. Is it okay to leave the PCI uh, E card and riser installed? Yes, uh, pretty sure it's okay. It is, but I would, un I would disconnect the power. That's just power that you're not using. Kind of like the same thing with appliance, right? If you have an appliance like an air fryer plugged into your outlet, it has a... a, a I forgot I what it's called. Plug, I unplug mine. Yeah. Like I'll leave, like, I just unplug it, you know what I mean? Just to be safe. You're not going to, unless you have your motherboard PCI, uh, PCIe slots powered with the uh, Molex connectors, you'll be fine leaving the USB connection in. But if you want, just, just unplug it. I leave it hanging off to the side. Yeah, so. I just unplug the USB port out of their whole slot, and then I pull the SATA or 
six pin, whatever I'm powering the riser with. YouTube comments. Just for any extra draw. Pick a. Yeah, vampire power. Right, PCB guy. Exactly. Just go ahead and disconnect it just in case. It's just, uh, it's sucking a little bit of power. Not a lot. Just a little bit. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start doing the giveaway here. I hope you guys commented on the video that Savage Mind and myself posted. Um, last chance to get in, you had to have the hashtag Raven2021 if you read the instructions. And let's see what happens. Zero comments. Zero comments. All right, let's refresh this video real quick. I bet you, I bet you, I gotta freaking approve it again. I bet you, YouTube screwing me again. I had to approve all addresses last night. Oh, I hate when YouTube does this. Why all do you do it. this, YouTube? I had it open in another window and was just sitting here every time, just refreshing it. Like, like freaking um, earlier, Vitalik ty typed in nips, N I P S, and freaking YouTube blocked it. Yep. It's like, come on. <sighs> Anybody that commented, uh, Vitalik. just regular comments, it was okay. But anytime that there, there was a wallet address, I had to manually approve it, which is whatever, because you can actually kind of like filter it, and you can just click select and all of filter to accept. So it helps, but it's still a nuisance. Links or hashtags may flag it. Just the uh, just a wallet address flags it. That's all I asked for was wallet addresses last night. Yeah. Why is it doing that? So it's only showing me. Hang on, it's only showing me. There it is. Okay. Jesus loves S me. Savage says max voltage. I also leave riser with power, but no GPU. So. Dot, 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 dot. <laughs> Jennifer Julia. Godwin here posting stuff. Get out of here, Jennifer. So Savage says he does it. I mean, obviously, it's it's not a bad thing. It's not going to hurt anything. But as PCB guy said, only seven of you commented. Power. Only seven. Okay. Well, your chances go up even higher with less people posting, I guess. Last chance to get in. Um, Savage posted what you need to do. Just need to comment on the video with a positive comment. Hashtag Raven2021. I know Red Panda is going to be late, so we might go like uh, one uh, at 102. We might switch over. But if you haven't watched that video that I'm posting a link to, check it out. Uh, what uh, I had to do to fix my Gigabyte uh, RTX 3080. For sure. Because it's red. If you're watching, guess, dude, I can push memory to the max now. What up, GPU Plus 1500. Jesus. Good old GPU Jesus. Nemesis. He says, keep going. I'm not ready to stream at all. <laughs> yeah. Red eye. Red. He says, I still got my pants on. <laughs> yeah, test we know, we, we know you stream completely naked behind that camera, Red. Always. You so, never show your face anyway, so we would never know. By the way, I'm marking some of you as always approve, so don't don't do something silly and then make me have to ban you from that. But I have. I said it's 3070 froze after an hour. Who? Pandas. What? When you pushed the memory that high, what happened? 1500. Yeah. I, well, throw some throw some thermal grids. They minus pad eight on. Vita Vita says I watch naked. <laughs> I love it. All right, seven YouTube commenters. All right, we're gonna pick from the seven. Let's go ahead and go. I'm gonna get my notepad ready. Max voltage, dude. You need See? to. You need told to stop. You, man. You need See, to... you you didn't win last night. We told you you would win last night, but you won today. So yeah, we just, buddy. We told you you would win. It just see how it just it would have been too obvious for last night. Right. You know what I mean. So we just give it to you today. So. Come on, come on. Love the Max video. Max voltage Glad says it send, out. Max says send it to Nim in chat. He says, "What's your Raven address, Nim?" Nemesis, you want some Raven? Well, we're gonna go ahead and move on. If you if you really want to give your spoils, but yeah, Max, you, says, you, you so deserve it. Send it to Nim. Well, that's if Nim wants it. If Nim doesn't want it, he can get it. You are gonna get it. You didn't get some last night. You're gonna get it today. Gonna take it. Yeah, Nim got 
uh, a thousand Zell last night, five ETC last night, because people won it and just gave it to him. Well, we got one more. We got. Oh, you're all awesome. We the got. Community is great. There's only two people that are going to get Raven today. Who's going to be the second one? Let's make sure there's no new comments. Nope, there's not. You guys suck. Seven commenters. 30 people watching. Jay Bohannon. Jay Bohannon. Whoop, Jay whoop. Bohannon. I know you're here, buddy. This is what... See, so since you missed last night, you get to win today. Jay Bohannon. For, speak now. F -A, forever baby. hold your peace. F-A all the way. It's a bot. I'm joking. It's a bot. <laughs> it's a bot. Jay Bohan, I know you're I here, but I saw you. Uh, I'm posting there he is. a video later today, uh, or or coming out tomorrow. Um, I bought the Vision Tech mystery boxes, and I bought four of them, and I got two video cards out of it. All right, so the winners of the Raven cool. is Jay Bohan and Max Voltage. I will be sending you guys some Raven here shortly. We're getting ready to switch on over <laughs> to our good friend. Savage, so this can't believe Jan Coin didn't win. I know, Chan always, always wins. wins. Always. He's probably, probably going to win in Bane Always. Hey, there's somebody named Mar Marlon Lopez in Red Panda stream. Is he is he related to uh, Ty Lopez? The Mario Lopez. Red Mining says, nice, which cards? Uh, one of them, dude, so it was, I had... When I opened it, it came with, I saw a driver CD and I was like, oh my gosh, you know, this one's old. And it was an ATI Catalyst CD. And I said, geez, I haven't seen one of those in forever. Show uh, me, show me, lift it up. So here is the GPU. That's classic. I don't think they can see that. I can though. Yeah, ATI 100X10G54GP-V. Yeah, GP dash V. Yeah. That's 256. Classic. Megabyte GPU, dude. It has an S video out, dude. That's when I see when I seen the S video out, and I said, "Jeez, it's old." <laughs> What's its hash rate? In not even a two hundred. Not even a full sixteen slot, like. Dude, that's a that's old school. I was like, yes, that's what I wanted. I wanted some older GPUs uh, from that, so that way I could put them in like a shadow box at the, the new house's office. That's what the plan was. So I got one. I have a couple others that I've collected over the year. And then I got this Vision Tech ST1 1 gigabyte GPU, which is actually it's actually usable. I could use that on, you know, like a rendering rig or something to watch something. I love classic GPUs. Do you see the ones that I had on my desk? That's pretty. Yeah. So I'm trying to get my hands still. Yep, right, wrong way. And ST1 4J H A. Yep, one gigabyte. It's pretty nice. Uh, VGA, DVI, and uh, uh, a regular video output. Yeah. Which I was like, cool. I was like, cool. I can use that. Uh, and then they said I got a PCI expansion. Dude, I got uh, two for two of them. I don't know if it's used for mining, which a friend of mine got the same one and he has a Mole he has Molex power on the back of his. Mine doesn't. I have it so it's not externally powered, so that kinda sucks. But whatever. Still has still can add extra two yeah, what you need. USB three point three point O's, which is nice. Alright, Max V, you're getting your Raven, Red Panda's about to come on, guys. Uh, I think he's about to come on. Is he still naked? Get, get dressed, Matt. All right. All right, he's good. He's good. So uh, thank you, everybody, for watching. Uh, this is a weekend show. We do this every Saturday around 12 p.m. before Red Panda Mining comes on. And I hope you guys enjoy his stream. Go uh, head on over there. Savage. Savage Raid. Savage. We're going to do a Savage Raid for Savage Mine. <laughs> no, we're going to do a raid. Uh, Serpent X Raid, you guys have a great day. Enjoy your holiday. Stay safe. Um, and I will see you guys next year, technically, because the next Saturday yeah. stream will be after the new year. So, any closing words, Crypto Macau? Uh, stay safe. Happy New Year. See y'all next year. All right, guys. Check out the links in the description to help out the channel as well as the articles posted in this video. 
And once again, this live stream was brought to you by Dogelord.com, where you can go get merch for Red Pen and Mining, Aeon or Open Application Network, DCA Adventure, and myself, Serpent X. Take care, guys. Don't delay by today.